honestly, two months of studying for the med boards is one of the most challenging times of my life. And then kasi yung pressure to pass, not only from myself, but also from family and friends. Hello guys, this is Jules Gomez and her awesome road to MD. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified once I have a new video. And for today, I'll be sharing with you some tips on how to study for the board exam, specifically for the Physician Licensure Examination or PLE. And hopefully, you'll be able to learn and apply a thing or two by watching this video. So first is to prepare and gather the things you need such as your study materials, your books, alarm clock, highlighters, pens. Well, Top Notch recommends the use of neon yellow highlighter and red pen but for me, I use two colors of highlighter. So whatever works for you really. And then you have the book stand, page markers, and the like. And then once you've gathered them all, because Parang you'll have this sense of readiness and then you'd feel like, Oh, okay, I'm ready to study. I got everything I need. I definitely have no excuse to not start studying. Next, this one is very crucial. You need to identify your goals and your whys. What is your goal during the review season? What do you want to accomplish? As for me, I wanted to enjoy the learning process and to be able to cover as much as I can given the limited time that I had. I had less than two months to review back then. And of course, to be able to give my best daily para no regrets, di ba? Para walang sisihan sa huli. <laughs> and then, the ultimate goal is to pass, of course, to be a licensed MD. And then, for your wise, you have to ask yourself, Why do I have to exert effort? Why do I have to give my best? Why do you need to identify these? Because there will be a time na talagang panghihinaan ka ng loob. You'd feel so discouraged that you would want to give up. And that is why you have to go back again and again to the very reason what and why you're holding on to. So what are your whys? For me, I wanted to give back to God for being with me all throughout my journey to med. For my family, my mommy, papi, and ate. For my dear and the future we would want to build. For my future patients. For my med friends. Kim and David who passed away before they even had a chance to take the boards. So I thought of them as my inspiration as well. And for Sir JR who was one of my favorite med profs and uh, the one who interviewed me in UERM. Sadly he passed away weeks before the boards due to a certain condition. And uh, lastly for my 12 year old self who dreamt of becoming a doctor. After identifying the goals and whys, let's go to rewards. What are the things you look forward to after the board exam? Kumbaga, delayed gratification at its finest. So last time, I wanted a trip abroad, specifically to Taiwan. And then, there were the other options. Next is to learn how to drive. I also listed the series, animes I wanted to watch, like Attack on Titan, Game of Thrones, One Punch Man. And then to read non-med books, kasi medyo nakaumay talaga na puro med, but no choice since board review, taste muna. Do artworks and then uh, join a 10km run. Max ko lang kasi is 5k, so I wanted to do 10k. And then more blog entries with the possible topics in mind. Focus on board exam. 
as in literal na tease ka muna talaga. Your two months shall be solely allotted for board exam. Wala mo ng parties, gatherings, ayan, pass ka muna dyan. Dates, hmm, pwede pero limited lang. Ang focus mo muna talaga is mag-aral. Back then, during my father's birthday on August, they were the ones who went sa condo since di ako makawi. So, we just had dinner then at my place. And then, they understood naman kasi ako yung tipo na if umuwi ako sa bahay, hindi ako nakakaaral. Because it's home and it's so comfy. So, ayun, sacrifice muna for the most important exam in your life. Going easy, going steady, getting ready for the MD. Yan, may pa-theme pa ako noon, courtesy of my dear. Like a cheer. Yan, may ligaw ako sa mga ganyan. Pati motivational quotes, like, Ang tulog, nababawi ang PLE, hindi. Pero natutulog pa rin. Ha. <laughs> Ayan, of course, nothing is impossible with God and your heart may be weary but never give up. So, mga Feb pa lang of 2019, I already planned to study for the boards. But, in reality, ang naaral ko lang talaga was... Ten, 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 OB Top Notch. Grabe, as in, yun lang yung natapos kong basahin during internship. Ah, ayan, wait nga, ilagay nga natin. The rest, puro papyaw lang. So, at least, may plan. <laughs> so, yun yung subject na pinakahuli kong inaral for boards later on. And then, once you've made a study schedule na, as in yung beast mode on na for review season, stick to it. Top Notch will give you a recommended study schedule, so you might want to edit it na lang according to your own preference. Concentrate more on basic sciences. Why? Because these are the subjects that were what? Three or four years ago, nung last mo silang inaral. Well, for me, ito inuna ko since I thought na more often than not, I already know something when it comes to the clinical sciences during clerkship and internship. So, the basic sciences, sila yung kailangan talagang balikan para ma-refresh yung memory once na ma-review ulit. And then, when there's a concept na hindi ko maintindihan or medyo kulang yung explanation sa handout, that's the time that I open some books or some other review materials so that I can fully grasp the concept. I also made some summary notes. So, for visual people like me, if hindi ko ma-drawing, dinadaan ko minsan sa mga concept maps. For example, sa GIF show, for me to remember which cells secret which, and on what part of the stomach are they located, I drew a stomach and put everything in there so that I can visualize it. And then, I did the same for other organ system like serenal, sa surge, yung liver, stomach, and esophagus. And it will be nice if lahat ng system meron, but <laughs> I ran out of time. Next tip is to write down notes. I initially planned to have my summary notes on this cute non-ruled notebook, but ha, huh, late ko na siya naisip. So, I only had notes for Micropara and Pharma, and I really enjoyed doing it. Of all the subjects, pinaka naaral ko talaga was Micropara because I did this. I wrote summary tables, concept maps, na ako lang ata ang mga kaintindi because I wanted it na I can see everything in just one look. Then, I also marked high yield and uh, must know concepts. For high yield, I place the star sa gilid. Then, if must know, I place an exclamation point. So, you can use whatever marks you like. And, uh, yeah, you might want to do that then. Ito ang funny. I plan to have everything page mark per system. Masipag pa ako nung una sa anatomy, pero pagdating sa pasto, nye, wala na, hindi ko na nalabelan. 
way back in med school, I did not use the Pomodoro technique, but I got to try it during the board review season, and yes, I think it was effective. So the app that I used was Plenty. Plenty! And <laughs> if you get distracted or when the task is interrupted, it will remind you to focus on your task. But you can adjust the focus mode sa settings. Pwede mo palitan if you want to stop the task immediately or after 30 seconds or to never interrupt a task. So meaning kahit mag-check ka ng message sa phone or sa messenger while the task is ongoing, it is possible. The cute thing about this is once you have enough coins, you can level up and unlock the trees that you can plant. Syempre, yung ultimate goal is yung cherry tree. And then, you can earn some badges as well. Ayan, it has a summary also of the hours you've spent studying or whatever task you're doing. I was able to focus for longer hours despite the 5 minute breaks in between using this technique. So, you might want to try it then and see if it's effective. If antok ka na, wala na talaga ma-absorb, wag mo nang pilitin. You take a nap and then just don't forget to set the alarm clock. Para, you know, magising ka. Hmm. Ako kasi, I don't drink coffee to keep me awake. So, I just sleep pag di ko na talaga kayang nabanan yung antok. So, ayun. Sleep if you must. Of course, your brain needs some glucose. So, when you're hungry, you eat. And you have to eat well. Don't deprive yourself of some good food. Kain ka lang ng kain, wala mo ng diet. Diet-diet, mag-boards ka, tapos magda-diet ka, diba? So, hindi pwede. Harap ka nang mag-aral, tapos hindi ka pa kakain, diba? Medyo, hindi siya fair. So, don't worry about the extra weight later on. Worry about it na lang after passing the boards. Ayan. Doon ka magbalik-alindog program, ganyan. Pero for now, kain ka lang muna. Kain ka pag gutom. Jack Canfield said that the law of attraction states that whatever you focus on, think about, read about, and talk about intensely, you're going to attract more of into your life. So if you wanted to pass PLE so bad, you need to believe and visualize that you have already passed. And one thing that I did to visualize my passing was to change my wallpaper into a list of board passers from PRC. I used the one during my nursing sh- or, uh, nursing licensure exam last 2013. So, hinighlight ko, edit ko, and then every day, yun yung nakikita ko on my phone during board review until it became real eventually. So, you might want to do this too to stay inspired. Lastly, pray. Pray at all times. Pray for wisdom as you review. Pray for strength to carry on daily and pray for endurance during board review season. It's really going to be hard. Di ko na nabilang yung times na I said to myself na ayoko na, pagod na ako, papasakaya ako. So, despite all the hardships and uncertainties, take comfort from the fact that there's a generous God who believes in you, provides for you, and remains with you all throughout. So, don't forget that with Him, nothing is impossible. And uh, certainly, you'll be a licensed doctor soon by His grace. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you learned something from this video. Let me know which of these tips help you prepare for the boards. You can comment them down below. And stay tuned for more videos. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>